Hi, in this video we will be talking about some properties of vectors. So let's begin with the equality of two vectors. Vector A is equal to vector B if vector A's magnitude and direction is equal to vector B's magnitude and direction. So if this is vector B and this is vector A, then vector A can equal to vector B if vector A and B have the same magnitude and direction. What I mean by that is if they have the same number, for example, if vector A and vector B have the same direction or the same velocity, so if they both travel at 65 kilometers per hour, and if they both are going at the right direction, at the same direction, if they're both going towards the same point, And sorry, and if they point in the same direction, then vector A is equal to vector B. Okay, now let's talk about adding vectors. The rule for adding vectors can be described better in a graphical method. So let me draw out some vectors over here. Uh, let me draw out a coordinate system. So we have our coordinate system here. And if I were to draw out some vectors, for example, this vector, vector A, B, C, D. Okay. If I have all these four vectors, how would I draw them? Or how would I add them up? What, we, what I would do is, there's two laws that needs to be learned about vector addition. The commutative law of addition and the other one which is called the associative law of addition. One thing to note, about vector addition is that not all laws of conventional addition applies to vector addition. So we can take two laws that applies to conventional addition and apply it to vector addition. And these two laws are vector A plus vector B will always equal to vector B plus vector A. Now this law of addition is called the commutative law of addition. Another, another law of addition that we use in vector addition is, also, is called the associative law of addition. And what that is, is essentially basically what we have is we have our vector a plus vector b open bracket well plus open bracket vector b plus vector c this left side of the equation is equal to bracket vector a plus vector b plus vector C. Now this seems pretty obvious at first, right? But you'll realize that a lot of conventional vec uh, conventional addition laws do not actually apply to vector addition. So with that said, these are the two laws that we use in vector addition to pretty much add all the vectors that we want to add. So now we will focus on how to add vectors. Let's add some vectors. Vector A over here. Now vector A 
has a head and a tail. This is the head, this is the tail. If you want to add vector B, for example, to vector A, all you have to do is draw vector B's magnet. So vector B, in order to draw vector B, we need to make sure it has the same magnitude and direction. Looks about the same. So vector A plus vector B This is the resultant A plus B. So A plus B, vector A plus vector B equals to the resultant vector A plus B, which is the tail to the head of the last vector. Now, what's interesting is that we're, we are going to check this law commutative law of addition. If vector A plus vector B equals to vector A plus B results in, right? Does vector B plus vector A give us the same result in, meaning the same magnitude going to the same direction? Let's draw out vector B. This is vector B and we take the head of vector B and connect vector A same magnitude and direction and what we have is this resultant now if i draw if i do this correctly what we should have is another side of the parallelogram so if you really think about it this side over here can actually if you think about it this triangle over here the resultant if I drew it properly if I did draw, draw it properly it would be the exact opposite of this triangle over here so as you can see vector B is parallel to vector B over here and vector A is parallel to vector A here so they form um, one side of the parallelogram so vector A plus B is the right side whereas vector B plus A is the left side of the parallelogram and the resultant is over here this is the resultant now let's check if the associative law of addition works. We take vector A and we actually we have to do what's in the bracket first. Let's take what's in the bracket first. Let's take what's in the bracket first. We take vector B and we add vector C to it. So vector B plus vector C, right? And then we add vector a which looks like this kind of and the left side equals to vector a plus b or sorry vector b the left the left side equals to vector b plus vector c plus vector A which equals to this resultant over here. So that is the resultant of B plus C plus A. Now we have to see if A plus B first plus C will equal to the same thing. So let's draw A which is over here plus B plus C whoops it's a bit too long and we should now remember this is very approximate 
but this line if I drew everything accurately to scale these two lines would be parallel same magnitude and same direction so as you can see associative law and the commutative law both work in vector addition.